Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, and back with another Black Desert video. Today's video is going to be a much requested video in the comments, as well as my live streams over on Twitch, and that is a guide on the fairy system in Black Desert. So how to get started with getting your fairy, what a fairy even is in general, the different skills that your fairy can learn, which ones are the best ones to pick up that you should be shooting for, how to upgrade your fairy, any question you could have about the fairy, hopefully I will answer for you in this video, and if I don't, ask it in the comments section and I will try to assist you. Anyway, real quick before we get into it, if you are new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me, and would help to grow the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's take a look at what a fairy is in general, so you can actually get started with understanding the system. A fairy is basically another pet that you can have on your account, and it is accessed by the fairy icon in the top left corner of your screen that you see me hovering over right now with my mouse. If you don't have that menu, you will need to hit the Edit UI button, which is over here on the Escape menu, and make sure that this little eye icon is turned on to see all these icons up above over here. But anyway, when you eventually get a fairy, which I'll show you how to do in a second, it will bring up this menu that shows your fairy's name, the current level, the different skills that it has, all this different stuff. So to actually go ahead and get your very first fairy that you can have in the game, you're going to need to complete a quest line. And this quest line I have already done on my character, which sucks, so I can't really show it to you, or can I? Let's go back to the vault of Evil Do Us Harm videos. The quest line is this ADV support fairy mysterious companion quest line. In order to start this quest line, you will need to be level 53 or higher and have completed the witch hunting quest, the witch hunting quest that takes place in Bear. So down here at Bear, you will have completed a quest line that involves killing a witch, the Hex Marie lady. After you go ahead and kill her, it will allow you to take this quest from the Black Spirit. So from the Black Spirit menu, if you navigate to quest, suggested, you will see the quest line right here, Fairy Queen Thea. So go ahead and complete that quest line. So after you complete the quest line, you're going to go ahead and get yourself a set of sealed fairy wings. You can open these. The ones you need for the event are going to be the Glimmering Fairy Wings. It is the tier 2 on the list. So if I just go ahead and open them, click open, and maybe I get lucky. I got Brilliant Fairy Wings, which are actually one above, so I don't want to waste them on those. So completion of that quest line is going to give you your very first fairy. So in order to actually register the fairy, you're going to take those wings from your inventory that you saw me get right there at the end of that clip. Click on them or right click on them. It's going to ask you to register the fairy. I think to register the fairy, you need to go to this tree right here. And when you get to that tree, it'll let you register it. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's the method. And anyway, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just click the item in your inventory. Levi, where is this tree? You haven't showed me yet. It is the Chemisilv Temple. So the Chemisilv Temple is located to the right of Heidel. So we have Heidel over here, major city in Black Desert. And the Chemisilv Temple is literally right down the road. So, now that we have our fairy registered, we're hanging out over in the Chemisilv Temple, which we're going to need to be at anyway. Let's go ahead and take a look at that fairy menu. So, the fairy menu, once again, is in the top left corner of your screen, over here, underneath your health bars. And let's run through the different menu options here. So, the first line is going to be the tier of your fairy. So, there are four tiers to fairy. There is Faint, Glimmering, Brilliant, and Radiant. So, increasing order. Faint is the worst, Radiant is the best. The tier of your fairy determines how many skills your fairy can learn. So a faint fairy can learn one additional skill on top of guaranteed luck plus one, glimmering can learn two, brilliant can learn three, and radiant can learn four skills. The skills that your fairy has learned, or the location that your fairy will gain skills as it learns skills, is at the bottom of this menu here. So it's all these options right here that I'm circling. If you hit the question mark option, you will see all the different skills that your fairy can learn based on its tier. And you can also get a quick description of all the different skills that your fairy can learn. Depending on your fairy's tier, it can learn even greater values of these skills. So as you can see, each skill has a different rank. So inexhaustible well 1, 2, 3, 4. Basically, the higher tier your fairy, the better chance that you will get a higher tiered skill. Higher tiered skills have better effects. So for example, my fairy has feathery steps 1, which is the lowest rank for feathery steps. It increases my maximum carry weight up to 105%, which is pretty cool. It's basically a 5% bonus to my maximum carry weight. If I go ahead and look at the possible learnable skills that I could have learned, though, I could have actually gotten up to Feathery Steps 3 on this fairy, which would have been 115%. So I'm missing out on that 10% bonus just because I learned a bad skill. So Levi, I got a crap skill on my fairy. How do I reset it? Can I get a new skill instead? You sure can, bud, but you got to spend some real life money. So I hope you're okay with just like throwing money into the toilet. Because what you got to do is first you got to summon your fairy. To get any of these buffs or effects or anything applied to your character like this increased carry weight, you need to have summoned your fairy by clicking the summon button. There's no food requirements for your fairy. You can come out, it can stay out whenever you want. So don't worry about that. You pretty much just leave it out at all times. Anyway, if you go ahead and click on the change skill button after you've summoned your fairy, you can pick your skill you want to get rid of or swap, and then you can hit change skill. It's going to bring up the cash shop item that you need to buy, which for $2.50 a pop, 
is a Theus Orb. So for money, you can reroll your skills for a random skill. You have no idea what you're going to get. It is a random skill. So if you feel like throwing your money to the toilet and just trying things over and over again until you get a skill you want, go for it. I wouldn't recommend doing any of this until you get up to that Radiant Tear for Fairy. So about getting a Radiant Tear Fairy. You can upgrade your fairy one time, which means after you get a brilliant fairy, you can kind of stick out with that one. But if you've got the lower tiered fairies, don't really worry too much about them and swap them out as soon as you get a better one. To swap out a fairy when you do get a better fairy, if you go to the main menu here and unsummon your fairy by clicking the unsummon button, you will see the release button. You can just release your fairy, then click on the new wings that are higher ranked and put them on. Pretty simple and straightforward. Then all you gotta do is summon your new fairy back. But anyway, like I was saying, do not worry too much about fairies until you get a brilliant one or a radiant fairy. There's no real reason to worry too much. As far as upgrading your brilliant fairy into a radiant fairy, so a tier three fairy into a tier four fairy, you need to use the sprouting option up above. So in order to use the sprouting function, you need to unsummon your fairy and then click on the sprouting button. From here, you're gonna feed your fairy sweet honey wines. These can be purchased off the central market price. Right now on the NA version of the game, they're going for 1.4 million silver. So they're going to cost you a lot of money. You can use these suckers and you will need 400 of them to guarantee the upgrade to a tier four fairy, which is pretty cool. Do note that when you upgrade to a tier four fairy, it's going to reset all of your skills and you got to level them up again. So once again, don't get too hell bent on rerolling skills or anything like this until you've really gotten that radiant fairy. At any rate, how do you even unlock these skills? That's probably your next question, because when you get this fairy, it's only going to have luck and you gonna be like, what the frick? To do that, you need to use growth. My fairy's already reached the maximum level, so I can't show you this menu. Sad. But anyway, when you click this growth button, you will have the option to feed your fairy either more of these sweet honey wines, which I'll show you how to get here in a second, or you can feed it green gear that you get while out farming. That means that the fairy is actually a super useful companion because while you're out farming at places like Gahaz or Polly's or Fadis or Blood Wolves, if you go ahead and feed the gear that you don't want, the junk gear that you loot while you're out grinding at these places to the fairy, it will save you the inventory space and it will progress your fairy. Every 10 levels that your fairy gains, it will learn a new skill. The skill once again is random and if you want to reroll the skills, once again, you need to spend money. The next thing to point out on this menu is this potion setting. You will only get this option if you have the skill Miraculous Cheer. Miraculous Cheer makes your fairy automatically drink potions for you from your inventory. So health potions or mana potions depending on your stats. And here you can configure the stats that you want to go. So like when my HP is at 50%, I want to use an instant HP potion. And you just hit confirm. And now whenever your health falls below 50%, the fairy will automatically drink the potion for you every single time, once every four seconds in this case, depending on the level of Miraculous Cheer, it's faster or slower. So it's a pretty cool little menu you can have, have yourself gain stamina back or health back without you having to mash buttons on your keyboard. The only other option left on this menu is the rebirth option. This one costs $10 and what it does is it resets you. So it's 1000 pearls, you can buy it in the cash shop. It's under the pearl shop, travel aid, fairy, and then you have the option for the Thea's orb as well as the fairy queen's might. So those two items are what you use for these different menus here from the cash shop. Anyway, that's about it for this menu here. So how do you go ahead and get more fairies? And also how do you get that sweet honey wine that you use for all these different upgrades for the fairy? That is done over here at the Chemisilf Temple. So once again on our map, Chemisilf Temple to the left or right, I don't know which directions I'm going, to the right of Heidel. So when you get up here, you're gonna see Fairy Queen Thea. If you talk to Fairy Queen Thea, she has a daily quest that you can do. This daily quest, it's not even a daily quest, it's repeatable, you can do it as many times as you want per day, is called Mysterious Companion. Mysterious Companion, when you talk to her, is gonna require you to give her Layla's petals. When you give her the required number of Layla petals, she will give you back a new roll of fairy wings. So, how do you get Layla's Petals? Layla's Petals are obtained from grinding, AFK fishing, or gathering. So just generally playing the game, you're going to pick up Layla's Petals. Just hold on to them until you have a whole bunch of them. And when you do, make a trip over to Fairy Queen Thea, trade them all in, and pick up all of these wings. You can open these up in a bundle. I just only have enough for one right now so that I can make the video. But as you can see, you have all the different options for the fairies that you can see there. And you can see there's like five different options for faint fairies, five different options for glimmering fairies, five for brilliant, five for radiant. What is the difference between all of these? They're a different emotion, if you will. So if you go to your fairy, you will see that mine is a meticulous Solen. It's basically just a visual effect on this one skill. It also changes their behavior a little bit in the game as well. So if you're into that sort of thing, something you might want to shoot for a specific one. Most people, though, just care about the stats. So that's really what I'm going to focus on. But anyway, rolling these fairy wings are super simple. You literally just click it, open one, click the space bar button whenever you're feeling lucky, and pick up those dank faint fairy wings that absolutely blow. 
But anyway, if this is the best that you have, then go ahead and put it on. If it's not, then we get to go and turn it into wine. So to turn it into wine, you come on over to this person right here, Dispatch Priestess Celine. So if you go ahead and talk to her and click Exchange, you can trade in whatever fairy wings that you don't want to use for your character for a sweet honey wine, or three sweet honey wines, or six sweet honey wines, or ten sweet honey wines, depending on what tier of fairy that you got. And that's it. Pretty much it for the fairy system. So you rinse and repeat this system, you re-roll them, you take the sweet honey wines to upgrade your fairy. After you get 400 of those sweet honey wines, you can take a brilliant fairy up to a radiant fairy. And if your fairy gets absolute trash skills, you hold on to it until you can re-roll for another one of a higher or equivalent tier, and then try and level that one up and get better tier skills. But anyway, guys, that's basically going to be it for this video. So in the video, we covered all the different skills that are available to you on a fairy, how to get the fairy, how to level up the fairy, how to change skills on a fairy, different ways to get the items that you need to get the fairy. So I, I really think I've answered just about everything you could possibly want to know about this fairy system. But if there is still a question on your mind, please do let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer it, or I'm sure one of the super helpful members of the community will be happy to help you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Once again, if you're not subscribed already to the channel, please consider it. It would help to grow the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching once again. I will see you at the next stream, the next video, or wherever I happen to see you. Thanks.